So we're in Delhi and we've already done the number one thing there is to do in India. Delhi belly. So I'll take you to where we've spent the last few days. We've spent the last few days lying here. There's the pillow for our convenience, a bit of water, and then this is where the magic has happened. Welcome to India. We're going to show you everything from extreme poverty to the incredible landscapes and everything in between. And we're not going to paint over the bad stuff either. We're not going to make this perfect picture of India. We're going to show you everything. So if you want to see us suffer, make sure you press subscribe and like. So we're walking on the street and somebody on the corner just spat and it splattered all over mine and Alex's feet. Pretty gross. I feel so dirty. So we've been out of the house for an hour and we need to go back and shower because we feel fucking gross. <laughs> I still feel dirty. We're in Delhi and I'm going to order my first ever curry. This is the first test of Delhi Delhi. I'll see you on the toilet in a few minutes. Guess who's got Nelly Belly? She doesn't feel very well, so obviously I decided to do a video of her. These samosas cost 10 rupees, which is about 10p, 15 cents, and they are so good. This mango uh, dip. Oh, this is amazing. This is the first day that we've finally felt well enough to go outside and my parents are here so we're going to experience a bit better kind of class of travelling that we've been used to and we're in a really nice hotel room and we were welcomed with this. So me, Alexandra and Emma are going to go and enjoy our day. Morning. Morning. Wish that I could stay Wish for this moment to never go away But it's all in my mind And though I know that there is nothing to find You're a beautiful sight in the summer night Today we're exploring Delhi and we're at India Gate. This is a memorial from the First World War of uh, the death of the soldiers and it's based on the Arc de Triomphe. Whenever we go to tourist spots in pretty much anywhere in Asia, we always get asked by people to have our photo taken with them. What do you guys do with those photos? I have no idea. Is it like something you put on Facebook and say like, here's my white friend or here's some weird white girl I saw at a tourist attraction? What is it? I don't understand. And you can't put up a fight in the mid Delight. I'm here at the Red Fort and I'm not going to tell you anything about it, why you ask. And it's not because I don't know anything about it, because I do, I know loads about it. The reason is you've done nothing. I've paid to come to it. I paid to get in here, I paid for the information on the audio guide, so I'm going to listen to the sweet, sweet knowledge and you're not going to get any of it. Mm, that is hilariously informative. I've ever known your beautiful <laughs> Fine, you can have one bit of information. They're cutting the grass with their hands. You can't put up a fight in the misty light.
The last two weeks, my parents came out to visit me with my sister. We had a great time, but the best thing about it is we got to stay in really, really nice accommodation. Much better than anywhere we've stayed before, in a while, at least in a long time. Uh, the problem is that they have now gone, so instead of going back to the really, really cheap places, we decided to settle in a bit and go somewhere with some air conditioning, pay a bit more money. Uh, we've got here, this is our room, not too bad. Uh, there's dirt and wet stains on the bed. I don't know what they are, I don't want to know what they are, I'm just going to sleep on them. But the biggest problem is it stinks. And not in the American sense where you go like, ah, oh, it stinks, in your nose, and it feels so strong, like it's gonna be in my body and I'm gonna sweat that now for the next year. So Emma has come up with a potentially genius solution. Incense. Lighter. Happy. <laughs> okay, so uh, basically, <laughs> Sorry. we bought incense and we're gonna give it a go and we're basically praying. This could be an amazing travel hack for backpackers out there. Uh, if you have a stinky room and I'm too British to go down and say sorry your room stinks, give me another room. <laughs> so we're going to try this right now and fingers crossed we could have a beautifully spending room. Stink. Like Jasmine. I guess it still smell the stank. I know, so can I. But hopefully Ooh. it starts with Ooh. the room. But what it's are you going like to do? Couple. I'm going to do about three or four of these bad boys. What are you going to do? Just going to hold them? No, I'm going to do maybe in, <laughs> in a glass or something. <laughs> Here's me in the, in the mirror. Perfect. So what's the verdict with the incense? It works. It's the most genius thing I've ever thought of. I'm so proud of myself. So there you have it. That is a genuine travel hack from the beans. We've just seen some paw prints and now we're gonna follow them.